Hello everybody, it's Sarah Banks from Banks' Business Solutions here and today I'm going to take you through how to create a basic invoice template in Word. Let's pop over into Word now and have a look at what we need to do. So here we have a blank Word document that I've opened up. As you will see, my logo is already in this and it's within the header area of the site. Please do go and check out my previous video to find out how to insert that logo in there, as this video is now all about creating the invoice template. So, clicking in the document, we're going to start off by putting a title in. And I'm just going to use the preset heading one that's set up in this document for that. I want to centre this, so I'm going to use this icon on the home ribbon to centre invoice here. Now, other key information you need, you need to say who the invoice is for, so supplier name and supplier address is going to go in here. It's also useful to have a date on your invoice and an invoice number. So straight away we've, we've popped these fields into the template. The next thing we're going to do is insert a table. I'm just going to pop four columns in there to start with. We may or may not need that and one row. So to do that, we went to insert table and we quickly selected the number of columns that we needed and dropped that in. So this is going to be the basic table that we use for the invoice. So we're going to label this first column description of service or you could call it goods or you could just put description in there. We're going to put quantity here, unit cost and total cost. By hitting the tab key at the end of that column we automatically create a new row on our invoice and if we hit enter we can create some extra spacing for that. Now this formatting isn't, isn't ideal for us at the moment because for a start we want our column sizes to be a little bit different and we can do that just by clicking and dragging them across and we then get a much bigger area for the description of our services. If we then highlight this row we can centre, and highlight the other, sorry I only highlighted one there, centre these headings and highlighted it all, we can make them bold so they stand out a little bit better for us. This is the area obviously where you, you have the space here to write in the goods and services that have been supplied. And then we're obviously going to want to put a total amount on this invoice. But we obviously want this writing to be right next to this total cost column. So we're going to highlight these cells, we're going to right mouse click and select merge cells and we're then going to right align this text and I'm going to make it bold so the invoice total can then go in there. If you then click add to the table you can add your payment terms and account details as appropriate at the bottom of this section. The final thing that you're going to want to do is adding your contact details. Now if you are a limited company you will also need to include your company registration number and if you're a VAT registered company, you'll need to include that as well. But I'm going to put this information into the footer so that if for any reason your invoice went over two pages, it will appear on both pages. To do that, we go to Insert, Footer, and we're just going to put a blank footer in down here. And here we can type in <coughs> our company address the telephone number and registration number if appropriate and I'm going to center all of that so I'm going to highlight this text go to home and hit center and there we have it a basic invoice template that you can either print out and fill in manually or use as, as an electronic invoice for those times where perhaps using an online accountancy system isn't appropriate or when you're starting out and can't afford to use that. I really hope that today's top tip has been useful for you and obviously some of the techniques within this if you weren't creating an invoice template can be used for other documents as well. Please do ask if you have any questions and I hope that you'll tune into another of our videos soon.